You know when I know something's getting through deep? When I see sisters like this, the people start to rock like this. Oh, it's okay. You know what that means? Sister was rocking back and forth. You know what that means? I got my right brain working and my left brain working. My right brain's working with my left. That's right. Or somebody's just tapping their feet. They don't know what to do with their feet. Are they stuck? They're trying to stay awake? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm taking so much blood from out of all the unnecessary parts and putting it into the necessary part. Hmm? But we ain't even started to get deep yet. You ready to stay with me? Yes. All right. Now, the matrix is a consciousness that is refracted light, and the modulating factor of that refracted light is your thought process. You modulate it to fit with the consciousness that was anchored into you. You modulate your whole being around that. You give it life. Sometimes it doesn't even know what it wants until it invaginates itself in you. Now, listen carefully. Deep metaphysics. By subtly adulterating, insidiously adulterating, or infecting the micromagnetic nest like a dye permeates the white shirt in the washing machine because the particle is dark matter and this consciousness drains it of its life this entity intercepts and conditions the behavioral potential of the particle itself and thus establishes a base of conditioned perception that is molded to conform to the synthetic reality projected by the mainframe of the matrix in other words, the primary fields of thought are pre-programmed to see the world and react to it solely as dictated by the construct. Thought is no longer an organic instrument reacting directly to the multiversal intent of the mind of God. Let me say that again. Your thoughts are being put through a filter. The filter was created by the conditioning that the matrix made or did to the subatomic nest that motivate the particle to do this or that. Thought is no longer an organic instrument reacting directly to the multiversal intent of the mind of God. It is now a regimented, conditioned light of consciousness. You have been conditioned. You have been conditioned. Remember, light is vibratory thought. Light is a vibration that is a thought or the mind of God. In the beginning was the verb, and here I am, I'm going to tell you why it is the verb. When you see the definition of verb, you will understand why in the beginning it could not be the word. Right now, in the beginning was the verb. Now listen carefully, verb, often attributed verbe, verbum, what? Word. But qualified as? What's the word more mean? Greater than. More at word. Greater than word. What is it? A word that characteristically is the grammatical center. Listen to the words that they're using to describe what this is. Remember, they're not trying to quantify an act. So, they're saying it is the grammatical center of a predicate. 
or something that is an intent and expresses what? Oh! Now, what's the word? say, to speak, something that is said. Remember, the first ones are the actual definition. Then you get into the colloquial or the way it expands. But from the core of the meaning of the word, you just get something to say. Something that is said, talk, discourse, the text of a vocal musical composition, a brief remark or conversation, a speech sound of series of speech sounds that symbolizes and communicates a meaning without being divisible into smaller units capable of independent use, which is just describing a monad. The entire set of linguistic forms produced by combining a single base with various inflectional elements without changing the body to the beat of the blip. Now, which one puts you closer into the mind of God? So then you say, well, in the beginning was the verb. You might be right, but then all words then coming behind it have to, in some way, break that down. Okay, it's hiding from me. It did. It went and hid from me. Ah, oh, nope. Wait a minute. Let me see. Yes, it did. All right. We'll get the top part of it. Reverberate. The rate of the verb. Rating the verb. The rate of reverberate. The rate of the movement. It says up here, because it was in the previous page, furnace. To become driven back. Now, hold on to that because you will understand who and what God is. To be driven back, to become reflected, to continue in or as if a series of echoes, to resound, reverberate. Being reverberated, something that is reverberated. In other words, it means it is what? Repeated. Check. Brother Nkosi Kamadi gave me something. They're now depicting the universe. Over in this corner, it shows our universe. Just this little piece here. Inside of a quantum of universes. What you are looking at on the representation is the reverberation of the original utterance. And they can't count all I can tell you is that there is space. Check right here. Parallel one level universe here as well. And they're telling you that you got universes connecting you with your exact double someplace else. But they're telling you right now, which I don't agree with, something up here that says what? Empty space. Empty space. Now, maybe to the physicists in the European temples of science. But if you understand metaphysics, you will know that there is no such thing as empty space. That the billions upon trillions of universes that, that, that our consciousness within the 10% that we do have is now operating on to elevate to actually see the other 10% of this, that that 10% that you see has consciousness that permeates into the 90% that you cannot see. And inside of the 90% are trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon quadrillions of life going directly back to the center. Your feeble little minds, Mr. Scientist, would put something stupid like this because 
You do not think metaphysically. You have no concept of spirit. So the 10% locks you down. Melchizedek is inaccessible to your mind. But you're talking to the children of Melchizedek. You're talking to the, quote, Christ children. And we are of the priesthood of Melchizedek. So when they tell you that this is empty space and there are universes within that empty space, that is because the perceptual matrix upon which you are identifying these universes does not allow the, 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 those that live directly in Melchizedek. So when they tell you that this is empty space and there are universes within that empty space, that is because the perceptual matrix upon which you are identifying these universes does not allow you access to those that live directly inside, around you, and up above you, or walk through you. It gives you no contact to those. We're just at 10,000 right now. Are we good to go? Yes. Now we said that in the beginning was the verb. And the verb was with God. And the reverberation was God. In fact, there are frequencies of light that can be used to manipulate thought signatures, which can be broadcast directly into the subconscious processes of the human brain. Since the word is light and the white is word and the verb is light and everything is light, you can use artificial light constructs surround you. Why do you think there's so much artificial light constantly surrounding you? Especially downtown in places where they uh, uh, sell things to you. All artificial light pulsates at a rate that synchronizes the pulse frequencies of your thought wave patterns. All of the lights on Broadway on a Saturday night are like a choir of voices that are heard by your subconscious as instructions for your perception to remain in light code lockdown. And the billboards are to visually reinforce your appetites, your lower appetites. This then drains your individual capacity to amplify your awareness to see past the thresholds of perception orchestrated by the matrix. Now, once these magnetic nests are co-opted, the particle orientation of the individual's mind is more easily manipulated to conform to the modulated realities that are not of your own creation. Beloved, we are light processors. We are holographic substrates of individualized intent reflecting the super hologram that is the vibratory energy field quantum of God's own mind. Let me say that again, because this is going in my book. By the way, I'm writing a book, two books. One is called The Velocity of Being, and Quantum Ascension is the other one. One has to do with the new way of looking at health. The other one is just describing God, sitting down one-on-one -on -one with God. Let me say this again. We are light processors. We are holographic substrates of individualized intent, reflecting the super hologram, which essentially is this very same thing, reflecting the super hologram that is the vibratory energy field quantum of God's own mind. What then is the matrix? What then is the construct? How is it? that individual intent, which is the child of omniscient intent, can be so thoroughly fooled into occupying a behavioral cocoon, causing the caterpillar within not to want to become a butterfly. Wow. Let me say that again. How is it that individual intent, 
which is what you are. God's intent created. So you now being a child of God automatically have the intent to create. So your condition automatically is to create, to become like the father, like the parent, to grow. What then, which is you being a child of omniscient intent? How is it? How is it that you can be so thoroughly fooled into occupying a behavioral cocoon, causing the caterpillar within not to want to become a butterfly? Could a single free-floating, individualized, artificial intelligence simply take over God's mind? Let me ask that question of you. Let me say again. Could a single free-floating, individualized, artificial intelligence simply take over God's mind? No. No. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because it is a product of the very same mind. Yes, but as above, so below. Now listen carefully, everybody. As our, our greatest spiritual and metaphysical teachers have always taught that to awaken from the sleep of ignorance, the individual consciousness must come to realize that any limitations that is perceived within itself are self-imposed. Limitations are self-imposed. Then what are these things? What is the matrix? Therefore, the hermetic axiom still holds true. If it does, if the hermetic axiom of as above, so below holds true, then God itself has imposed its own consciousness membrane of self-restriction. that self-imposed restriction of the Creator's intelligence is matter. Listen. Let's kick the, the metaphysics for real now. Matter is the membrane of projected consciousness emanated as the amalgam that captures and holds the seed of omniscient intent. It is the earth into which is seeded the omniscient intent. As with the nest of micromagnetic fields that the particulate rests in, it is the material qualifier for all potential within divine intent. In other words, matter is a membrane that had to be created as soon as God created its own restriction. 